When I was 17, 18, I started getting anxiety attacks. The next few years was really a time where I was experimenting on how to overcome anxiety. When I was about three, my brother had a back operation uh, in Melbourne and we had to go down there to the Rural Children's and get that. And I still remember this so clearly. My mum and dad stayed down there with him and I had to go home with my grandparents. And because I didn't want to leave them, I remember screaming the hospital down and mum hafting to give me to grandma. And I remember that moment. And I think that has a part in the story of a little bit of my don't be left alone, sort of anxious type. And then when my parents split when I was six or seven, uh, I think that has a bit of a part in it as well. The stigma around mental health is a huge issue, especially when it's people around us that are dealing with their own mental health. And sometimes we don't fully understand. And it was like that, with that anxiety story that I was saying before that I never fully understood it. And you sort of can't unless you've been in that situation, but appreciating what it is and respecting that and just trying to understand and helping them any way you can, but don't just assume. You know, have some people say, you know, have a teaspoon of cement and get over it. Like, it is not that easy. And there's a lot to it that you don't understand if you haven't been in it. And at the end of the day, that stigma if we can bring that down and, and get people just to understand that you may not be able to understand it, but try to understand it and just help any way you can. Yeah, The Naked Farmer all began from that one photo of me in the back of a truck. And I really wanted to use social media in a positive light. So I thought something that I've really dealt with myself is mental health. And I know a lot of people do, especially in the agricultural space. It's one of the industries that the suicide rates is higher than a lot of other industries. So um, it is one of our biggest issues that we face. And I want to do what I can to get those numbers down. So I wanted to dedicate it to that. And if you're scrolling through your social media and you see a photo of a sheep or a cow or a paddock full of wheat, you might just keep scrolling because it's sort of, it's interesting, but not that interesting. But if you actually see a photo of a wheat crop with a naked person in front of it, you're going to be like, what the hell is going on here? It forces you to read it a little bit and grabs that attention in a very unique way. With me, the things that I do to help support me with my own mental health struggles, my number one thing is eating well. If I eat good food and feel good, I um, feel good throughout sort of thing. I have a big problem with drinking enough water. That's like my own little thing that I forget. And if I'm too busy, I always forget. And then once I do that, I just get ran down and then I sort of snowball into that hole. And it's just knowing the signs, taking time to myself and time alone as well is important. And of course, my friends and family, they are my network, they're my support. If I ever have any issue or just want to talk to somebody, I know I've got them. I can just go around to their houses whenever I want and just chill out. Don't necessarily have to talk about it, but it's just chilling out and having a meal together or whatever. It's always going to be there, but if I can manage it so I can just be on top of it all the time just and know the signs and know when I'm starting to feel that way again. And today I've got a real handle on it and now I can do things that I never thought I'd be able to do and I feel like I'm on top now. If you want to show your support for the project, please share this and subscribe to the Being Here YouTube channel. It actually makes a big difference. Thanks.